Hi guys, Todd here. Right, I'm recording this. This is the last video of the year. My God. Anyway, earlier on, I did a look at this. Now, this is the Blaze by Mark Bugs. Now, I couldn't tell you that much about the internals and how it worked because this was a prototype and I didn't want to give too much away for obvious reasons. Uh, now this is for sale, actually, I think it's already out of stock on markbugs.com. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll, I'll show you the internals and just quickly how it works. But this retails at €299. Euros. But quickly going in for a close-up. Now when the mod arrives, it's going to turn up in, this is typical Mark Bugs, you know, you've got a little beautiful little wooden case and you've got the magnets in there and it's all in there nice and secure. So this was the prototype that I was playing with for quite some time and this is the actual production version. Now you can see the bodies are both the same, the differences are with here in the cap. So this one, you know, to adjust for any f battery rattle you had to, you know, had to do it by finger and possibly use a coin. With this one you can actually turn it really really easy just by putting your fingers in, fingers in there and turning no problem at all. We also have on the cap we have Made in Romania, we have a serial number, and we have Blaze, which is the name of the mod. So I just back off this just a little bit, and then I can unscrew this. The threads are, if you know Mark Bugs products, then it's silky, silky smooth. Take my battery out, and there we go. Take the bottle system out, just give it a pull like that, and out it comes. So this is Ultum and it holds 8 mils of juice, so if you want to fill it up all you do is you just unscrew this section here and pour your juice in, it goes in no problem. What's really clever in this is that if I grab this piece here and just unscrew this, like so, so what I can do is I can unscrew, just keep unscrewing this, and what happens is when I then push the bottom, this dictates how much juice is going to be pushed into your atty. So if you've got it screwed out like this, you're only going to get a small amount. If you screw it right down, squeaky squeaky, like that, and push then, then you're going to get, it's going to fill your atty right up. So you can control how much juice goes into your atty. The strange thing is, it doesn't matter if you screw this right up, it doesn't make this any longer. It's it's magic. I don't know how he does it, but it doesn't make it any taller. So you can see I've unscrewed this a fair old bit here. I take that, push it in, boink. Still sitting flush there, no issues. Screwed it right back in, push it back in there. Still sitting flush. It's magic! Now this is a mech. It's not a true mech. There's wires in it, but that's an argument for another day for somebody else. I'm not really bothered. So I'm just going to undo these screws here. It doesn't come with an Allen key or anything like that to do that. I've just picked one out of my little toolkit. And just to give you a look-see in here, so here you can see you've got your fire button, we've got a washer here. I'll just see if I can take that off. There we go, so you can see what's going on, you can see the wires and everything in there. But the way this works is that if I just grab this section here, just give this a little tug, boink, and then you can see how your firing switch is working. So that must be on a spring there, and when you push that in, it's making contact with this piece here. Now, I think you will have to disassemble this uh, over time, just to give it a clean uh, so it's something that I would possibly get into the habit of doing or learn how to do properly. But just make sure that you don't pull in these wires too much, don't leave them dangling, you don't want to cause yourself any grief. Also when you're putting it back together, make sure that that red wire is falling in that open section there. You, know, you want this to sit on there flush. If you have that kinked in there, then it could cause issues with putting the bottle back in. Another thing is, you know, when you're screwing this back on here, just finger tight. Don't crank it down. You don't want to be cracking this or damaging any of the threads. So just finger tight and that's all you have to do. It really is a two minute operation. Everything else I told you about uh, in the first video. Now one other thing that 
I never pointed out in the prototype because, I'll be honest, I never actually noticed it, but it is something that happens in the prototype and happens on the production version. Right now you can see that this, your plunger or your bottle system here is completely flush, but if I push down on the 510, can you see that moving just slightly there? So if you've got a long 510 on your Atty, it actually doesn't sit quite flush. That issue, and I believe it's an issue, is, is the one thing that just ruins this for me. Now I've emailed Mark Bugs, uh, but the reason I decided to go and do the video is because the same issue is on the prototype. And hands up, I have to be honest, I never noticed in the prototype because I was using things like my Narda, my Narca, the One prototype and things like that. Things with what I would consider normal 510 pins. But screwing anything on the top 510 increases the length of the carrier system here which then means that it's going to rock when you put it down on a flat surface. Uh, yeah. That's a major con for me. I mean, right now I, I have, and I don't know if you'll be able to see that. That's just Can you see that, the gap there? Is that showing up? You see that? I mean, when I put this down, <laughs> it's sitting like that. And for me, for, which is essentially, well, it's essentially a 300 euro device, and it's from, you know, a very, very well-known, respected mod maker. I just expect, I just do not expect this from them and it's kind of caught me off guard and but I have to share it, I have to tell you I really hope that if they see this then that it's something that can be fixed I don't know, I mean if they can come up with that, you know, they're adjusting the carrier system without increasing the length of the tube then they have to be able to come up with a fix for this uh, ah, they're just bummer it's not the kind of thing I want to call companies out on or, or make a massive point about, but I do think that to people that spend this kind of money, that kind of thing will matter to them. I really do think it will matter to them. I will also say that, you know, the squonking system, for me, I mean, I have big old muckle hands and I'm, I'm not the weakest guy under the sun, not the strongest, but I'm not the weakest guy under the sun and, and I can do, you know, I can have it fully open and I can push here with my thumb planted up here and it takes one push, fills my RDA up, job done. Now, what I will say is if you have arthritis or, or weak joints or, or you're not the strongest, then you may struggle with that. If you turn it down so that you're only putting half a squonk in, if you like, then it's a lot softer. So then you can turn it down and then you can do two squonks to fill your atty, or however much it takes. But you can adjust it and it does make it slightly softer. But be aware, if you've got it fully open, it does take a bit of a good old push to get it to squonk. It's not a full mechanical, it does have wires in it, it doesn't bother me in the slightest, And but the firing button is, is really it's really nice, it's got a really nice, it's a bit of a stiff button, not overly stiff and I love the curve on it and just holding this mod is superb. Another thing I should point out, when I took it to bits, um, that rubber washer, if you like, that sat below here, uh, the way I showed you putting it in, it's, it is actually wrong. There's actually a recess cut into the lower section, if you drop that washer into the recess. Do it that way. It's a lot, lot easier. Uh, so apologies for showing you that. Other than that, I use this device oh so much over Christmas and New Year. I am, I do really like it. I really rate this. I think it's a looker. I love the innovation in it. I, I do love most things about this, but the fact that with a long 510 on it, affects the way that the mod sits on a flat surface is um, it's a deal breaker for me it really is a deal breaker and that's a shame not how I wanted to start off the new year but I really do hope that they come up with a fix for it but right now no just no anyway 
At the end of this video, there shall be a link to the original look at the prototype. What I have told you now is just pointing out the major differences and showing you the close-ups. As always, thank you to Mark Bugs for sending this on. I got this free to review and to show off to you guys. And until next time, bye for now. Thank you.